Hi, my name is Elia Greek. I'm a space visionary, a tech entrepreneur, and I'm currently studying also neuroscience and neurobiology. And today I'm doing and launching my first podcast about future technologies, lifestyle and uh, brain. And uh, the reason I'm starting this podcast and series of uh, podcasts is to share my knowledge and uh, different life hacks about uh, doing business, about work-life balance, because I'm also a uh, mother of three kids and uh, happily married, and uh, to share my vision about the future and different ideas which can inspire you and give you some valuable knowledge that you can implement in your, in your life, in your business and in your activities. So, just to start, a couple of words about myself and my background. So, uh, I was born in, um, uh, in a family of astrophysicists and uh, I'm inspired and uh, I'm really passionate about space and future since my childhood because I was really uh, inspired by different talks about uh, how humanity can live in future in space. And for the last 40 years, I'm doing and launching various tech startups in the field of renewable energy, space tech, and uh, e even AI. And um, for the last uh, six years, I've also been working uh, uh, deeply on the topic of how to create an AGI, artificial general intelligence, and uh, also how, so how to bring uh, AI for the, for the help and for the, for the goodness of humanity. And uh, uh, so my main focus in uh, all the spheres of what I'm doing, what I'm launching, is to create different technologies that can bring um, goodness for our planet and have, that can change humanity for a better. And also I'm currently studying neuroscience and neurobiology in Stanford and plan to do a research in this area. So uh, you can learn more about myself and my projects in the links um, for this video. Uh, it's, and you can learn also about my projects in AI and in uh, space tech and uh, uh, my dream project to create a Cosmos City. But I'll tell you more about these projects later on if you'll be interested. And also please, uh, please uh, send me questions and comments to this video, what you want to learn more and uh, what you want to maybe to cover more in the future episodes of this podcast and you can reach me and send me uh, also through my through my different social media through my twitter uh, linkedin uh, instagram account and to my email also uh, linked to this video so today uh, this first podcast will be dedicated to a really important topic so how to find an idea for so for your activities and how to find and uh, what will really inspire you and what will bring you this inspiration. And um, uh, I want to share some small story about how my inspiration about space brought me to different uh, achievements and uh, even help, helped me to find, it, to find my dream project. So, uh, this is just a small story to uh, to tell to share with you, and then I'll I'll share some life hacks which are really practical and you can implement in your life. So since childhood, I was really inspired about space, and I thought that like space can be like uh, a very how to say uh, a new place where you can travel and where you can live. And uh, my family, uh, my family it was a combination between scientists, astrophysicists, and science science fiction writers. That's why it was really interesting for me to understand in which dimension we can uh, explore space and uh, uh, is it possible to live in space. So since childhood, I was like really drawing different future space habitation and space cities. And uh, that's why I have also like a visionary project right now is to create a, thir a first city in space. And um, uh, I was so inspired and dedicated to this topic that I saw that it would be great to really to start to create in some space habitation uh, at, at some stage. 
and uh, uh, I was really interested in what is doing in the field of space exploration by NASA um, and uh, I started to dig more into creating into, into investigating what they're doing in terms of like habitation on Mars or at the moon and uh, uh, I even applied and joined the program to create the first habitation on Mars as an expert of space architecture. And this is like a one small and tiny example how uh, my uh, space interest brought me to create a real project in space. And it's what really brings me energy and, re and some like um, some inspiration for life because it's important, I, I do believe it's important when you're doing various projects, not only to work on the project or to build a company but to do what you're really passionate about and what brings you lots of energy so here is the first tip and uh, to find thing which brought which brought you lots of which brings you lots of energy and which brings you lots of inspiration it can be a thing from your childhood maybe some childhood dream which you want to implement like my example with space or it may be something else, it may be something which really brings you, like your hobby, but which brings you lots of energy. And the best companies and the best startups are built when it's about your inspiration, which about which drives you and which allows you to, uh, to create, not to work, but really create on a daily basis. So a second tip is to, is to create a, a and uh, in order to find it and find an idea for your project for your activity is to be really mindful and to uh, be uh, to look uh, broader at uh, different people's needs and people's problem problems and it's uh, really interesting to investigate or what are people uh, which people uh, which problems people are faced to and uh, what are their key needs so this is a, uh, an example of like some iconic company i would say iconic startup like uber because uber was built when uh, their his founders uh Trace Klein, he found out that uh, people are really tired of like calling to a taxi service or trying to catch taxi at the street and uh, that it's kind of like it, it, it will be really helpful and efficient for people to if they have an app where you can find the driver and uh, he can pick you up uh, like uh, in the nearest convenient time so that's how the uber was built and the same way like uh, founders of airbnb uh, it, they faced a huge problem that they can't find place to live in california it was quite expensive and they started to find out is it possible to rent an apartment or a room even an apartment and that's how they started airbnb so this is a second tip uh, to find out some key problem which people or a specific target group face with and to start thinking about solutions and you can do like a really small exercise is to uh, during the next week try to find out and to think about problems that people face with and to do a list uh, of these problems and try to find solutions for them or how you can specifically solve them. And it's a great exercise because it can also bring you uh, kind of like a broader perception of the world. It can, it can inspire you and can, can bring you new uh, inspiration and uh, spark in your imagination. So it's also good for your, for your brain. So third tip is also to uh, try uh, and talk uh, about different solutions that people are currently using. So you can, uh, for example, take some um, uh, some uh, area uh, and uh, think about and talk with people. So how they are currently dealing with it. So, for example, you can go to uh, and uh, investigate area of uh, uh, say financial services and uh, talk with your friends and with your uh, with people around you who use for example different like new banks or banks uh and uh, try to find uh, like which uh, which problems they face like when using this bank or which problems they have with payments or so on and this is a third uh, area where you can find different ideas for your potential projects or your for, for your activities and I will do a separate uh, special podcast about 
how to do this interview. Uh, it's a special me method called Jobs to be Done. And you can find by doing this research really interesting and sparking ideas. And uh, fourth thing is to be really, uh, uh, like I personally find this a good, uh, a good uh, thing for inspiration and for new ideas is to read some sci-fi literature or to watch some sci-fi movies because the majority of uh, things that we are using right now they came from sci-fi writers and uh, for example Jules Verne in his uh, novels in the uh, 19th century he wrote about planes, helicopters and different things which we are currently using and even like mobile, mobile phones so just uh, spend some time and uh, read some sci-fi literature or some sci-fi movies and you will be like overwhelmed by different ideas which are there and my last tip is to be really open to this world and uh, uh, to be, uh, how to say, like really, um, really open to, on a daily basis because it's a question of your attention. If, uh, if you pull your attention during the next week and uh, in order to find out different ideas which inspires you, you'll be surprised how much there is information around you and how much areas where you can where you can work, where you can create startups, projects, or even can investigate. And uh, uh, I personally have another problem because I have so much ideas and things that inspires you and so many problems that I want to solve through my projects and startups that sometimes I even don't have much time for this. So uh, I hope that uh, this was a helpful information for, me, for you and I hope that you can use these tips for yourself uh, in order to really find some great inspiration and to find some ideas for, for your project and for your future startup. So please stay tuned and uh, please like this uh, video if it, if it was helpful for you and send me some comments and information that you want to learn in the future podcasts and in future episodes and uh, I will bring some uh, new information in, in next podcast about how to uh, how to make a fundraising for a project and how to find investments and how to start something when you where uh, when you don't have money at all. So yeah, uh, uh, that's all for today. And uh, uh, let's stay in touch. And uh, I hope it will be a really inspiring week for you in order to find ideas for a startup. And by the way, if you want, like please share them in the comments and uh, I'll answer and comment on these ideas. So, have a good day and uh, bye!